In this video, we go over the new effect added to Serato DJ Pro, the Clean Echo Out. And we compare it to Serato DJ's other three Echo Out options. Find out more coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. So with the jump from Serato DJ to Serato DJ Pro, Serato added just one new effect. Now I know they could have added a bunch of new effects, but the one new effect they added is one really useful one that I know a lot of DJs have been complaining about and have been waiting for an improvement. And that is a brand new, nicer, cleaner sounding echo out. Now previously, Serato DJ had three separate echo out options. So you had your you know, normal, simple echo out right here. You had your combo fade echo. And then when you put the effects unit into single effect mode, you had the break echo, which also had this mode change. You could change the fade to make it an actual echo out as well. And that was my choice in the previous versions of Serato DJ for my echo out if I was gonna use it in the software. Now we have this new one that they've called the clean echo out that in my opinion sounds a lot better. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll go ahead and run through each of these four options and engage the effect a couple of times so you can get a sense of what each one sounds like and then decide for yourself which one sounds best to you. So first, I'll start with the normal echo out. So as you can hear, there are some issues with that echo out. First of all, it sounds really crunchy and distorted when the track has a lot of low end. And also while this effect is engaged, it has a high pass filter going on. And as that high pass filter gets engaged, it becomes really tinny and really unpleasant to the ear. And that's why it's my least favorite out of these four options. So now let's move on to the combo echo fade. Now as you can hear with the combo echo fade, the biggest difference between this one and the first echo out is that the combo echo fade fades out a lot faster. And in my opinion, it fades out way too fast, especially if you're doing a long blend that needs that longer echo out tail. But secondly, it doesn't have that real high pass filter effect that you saw with that first echo out. So it doesn't sound as tinny and it, in my opinion, sounds a little bit better, but you still get that crunchiness and distortion in the low end. So let's move on to the third option and my favorite option in the previous Serato DJ, the break echo with the mode set to fade. So let's give this one a try. And as you can hear there, it doesn't sound nearly as crunchy or distorted in the low end and still maintains that longer tail. And that's why it was my choice in the previous version of Serato DJ. And if you did want to add that high pass filter in, what's cool about it being in single effect mode, you do have control over the filter as well. So if you wanted to add that in, you could, but if you didn't want it, you can still leave that out as well. And I love that extra control that that version of Echo Out had, but there was still was a little bit of distortion in the low and it still didn't sound as clean as the previous Echo Out in Serato Scratch Live, at least to my ear. But now let's try the new version of the Echo Out, the clean Echo Out, and let's see how the sounds compared to the previous three options.
to my ear, there's a big difference there. There's virtually no low end distortion or crunchiness that you saw in those last three examples. It still has that nice long tail. Now, one criticism I have for it is that when you engage it, it does have a little jump in volume uh, when it's first engaged, but it's pretty slight. I'm sure not a lot of people are gonna notice it, at least in the crowd. And for me, I'm gonna be moving on to this version of the Echo Out. It's the cleanest sounding, really simple to set up. Previously, when I was using the Break Echo, I'd have to make some changes. Sometimes I'd change the feedback and turn it up a little bit. I'd have to make sure the filter was set right, still make sure my beats are set right, and most importantly, change the mode to fade. And those are some things that I know only take a few seconds, but with this new effect, all I have to do is make sure that the wet dry is set a little bit over 50% and I'm good to go. I'm definitely moving to this one and I think at least all you guys that have you know, downloaded Serato DJ Pro and wanna give it a try and use Echo Out, definitely try this Echo Out and see how you like it. I'm sure a lot of you will agree with me that this is probably the best choice. So that's a look at Serato DJ Pro's newest effect, the clean Echo Out, and how it holds up against the other three options from Serato DJ. So question of the day, which Echo Out is your favorite? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click right here to subscribe to this channel. Or if you'd like to watch more content, go ahead and click on that video right there. And thank you for watching P.TV, where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.